In this video, join me, my wife, and some of our friends as we cruise aboard a Sea Lion F43 cruiser whilst enjoying some afternoon tea and maybe just a few glasses of Prosecco, whilst being looked after by the fantastic husband and wife duo who run cruiseessex.co.uk. It has been a while since I've been on the water as I am currently boatless, and as you will see in the video, this turned out to be an excellent way to enjoy some quality time on the water. So sit back, relax, pick up a glass of your favorite tipple, and enjoy the cruise. The cruise itself started in Fanbridge Yacht Haven in Malden, Essex. After leaving the marina, we headed east until we arrived at Burnham on Crouch before heading back to the marina. The cruise took around three glorious hours. The weather conditions were excellent. We had an easterly wind of around 10 knots, which created a nice breeze as we motored along at about five knots. The thing that always amazes me about boating is that you only have to step foot on the marina to be overcome with a sense of nautical serenity. One of my favourite boats in this marina is this steel hulled cruiser called Hero. This is the sort of boat that can cruise even when the conditions get a little bit gnarly. And there she is. Lemoncello is a 43 foot sea line that is fitted with twin Volvo Penta engines. As you'll see in a minute, the sea line 43 is like a TARDIS because she has so much space and accommodation for a boat of her size. We were warmly greeted by Peter and his wife, the owners of the boat and of Cruise Essex. Straight away, the vibe was welcoming, warm and happy. Obviously one of the great things about a trip like this is that you don't have to worry about the lines or getting out of the marina. Instead, you can just let the professionals do it. So obviously for the last two years more or less I've uploaded a lot of video footage about other people's boats reviews and just information in general so today I thought that I would take my wife and a couple of our friends out on a boat trip for an afternoon tea cruise um, along this lovely bit of coastline so stay tuned the video format is a bit different from my usual but hopefully you'll enjoy it. After leaving the marina, next came the tea, sandwiches, cakes and Prosecco, and catching up with our friends whilst at the same time enjoying the hospitality 
and soaking up the scenery. This is the saloon, nice spacious saloon, with or without wife. And over here we have the galley, which again is spacious. I mean, I'm six foot four, I could quite easily get in here to make everyone a brew or whatever it is they want. Over here is a dinette that also turns into another berth as well. Which is one of the great things about this sea line because it's all built on different levels you can get a lot more in this size boat than what you would do ordinarily in a boat on the equivalent size and of course you have the helm station probably enough for at least three people in there maybe With all the controls by twin Volvo Penta engines. So at the moment we're in 10 meters of water and we've done just over two nautical miles. I don't know whether the captain has noticed, but I have just spotted some starways. Come with me, we'll take a look. I'm pretty sure these guys have managed to sneak on here without anybody noticing, keeping a low profile. When the game is up, you have been found out. I'd just like to give or make a quick toast to all of my viewers and subscribers who have basically been with me since the beginning. 
I really do appreciate your support and I appreciate every single view that I get. So thank you to all of you. And obviously it's not my usual pint of Guinness, it's a Prosecco, but I'll make an exception for today. Cheers. Now that the afternoon tea has finished and you have had a sneak peek inside of this beautiful sea line, it's time to check out some more of the scenery and some of the boats we saw on the way. I know that a lot of my viewers love trawler yachts, but how about that for a potential trawler yacht conversion? I mean, it doesn't come much more salty than that. That is the sort of boat I'd probably be happy to motor across the pond on. So over here, we have a former police launch. And the really sad thing about this particular boat is that it hardly ever gets used. Now, if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you'll know how much I love boats that are designed to go out in all sea states. And that is exactly the sort of boat that is designed for any weather cruising. But it is a shame that it never gets used. Everybody's up on the flybridge enjoying the sun. I've managed to sneak down here to get another glass of Prosecco because, well, why not? Cheers, everyone. Good health. So, after having some food, having no more than two glasses of Prosecco before getting some sea time behind the wheel, it was time to head back to base. Pete was good enough to let me and my friend Andrew have a go behind the wheel as we shared salty sea stories whilst making steady progress back to the marina. Now, my 
friend upstairs on the flybridge, Andrew, thinks that he's actually steering this boat. Well, truth be told, I'm at the helm because I've got more sea experience than he has. Of course, I'm only joking. Andrew, if you're watching this, you are driving the boat. Check out that boy there, it gives you some idea of how fast the tidal flow is here. I think it's about five knots at the moment, which is pretty quick. It can catch you out as well if you're not careful. One of the things I wish about living here or near here is that the tidal range wasn't quite as big. But I guess it's something you get used to after a while has been known to catch some people out, myself included, when I had my old boat. But anyway, we won't talk about that. We'll save that one for another day, I think. I don't whether you can see the uh, chemtrails, I mean contrails, of those aircraft up there. Some lucky people going off various trips all around the world. Hope you have a good flight. Fair winds and following jet streams. Needless to say that we had a great time out on the water. Pete and Pat made us feel extremely welcome. The atmosphere on the boat was calm and relaxed. Apart from when I tried to land the drone, that was far from relaxing. If you are a member of my channel, then I will share the painful footage of me trying to land the drone on Monday. If you aren't a member yet, then click on the link in the video description or on the link in the top right hand corner of your screen. As you can tell from everyone's faces, it was a tense moment. Guys, thanks for watching. Please do not forget to give the video a like and to subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to find out more about cruiseessex.co.uk, then I will leave a link in the video description. In the meantime, I will leave you in the capable hands of Pete as he brings us back alongside. So, until next time, fair winds and following seas.
Please don't forget to check out my other videos and playlists. If you enjoyed this video, then please consider sending me a super thanks. And if you'd like to stay up to date with what I'm doing, then please feel free to sign up for my free newsletter.